it's pretty outstanding the lake is basically done more or less is done but it's not totally finished what is the next project let's see the next project is that this pile of granite uh, chips also known as blue jelly this material here 30 centimeter layer will be added on the lake everywhere except of course the walls because the vertical this is also why they don't have the white uh, geotech style spongy material because there is no need for it but everywhere else they need this uh, spongy material to protect the liner from these little granite chips. Now they have been building and they still are building more of these um, pipes made out of uh, uh, the same waterproof liner. And this pipe will be used to add the granite chips into the lake. So this is going to be interesting to watch when they do it. And this is uh, one of the vases they have made with the liner. This is the same material which is on the lake which is uh, which uh, provides the waterproofing they made this uh, nice vase they're, they're gonna make more where they're gonna put plants and they're gonna place these plants with these vases inside the lake this is shankar one of the workers give us a nice smile for shankar thank you <laughs> thank you some of the geotech style here you can see it's uh, it's a little bit colored in uh, in red earth that's because it's been, you know, it's been very dusty here. The excavators were lifting a lot of red earth. You can see even the footprints of the people, of course, who were going up and down with muddy chapels, muddy shoes to fix the geotextile style onto the liner. Well, the lake is in place as it had been promised. The waterproofing is all done. Now all we have to wait for is a nice monsoon to fill up this lake. Let's hope for the best. This is all from me today here at uh, Matrimandir. Follow my channel Matrimandir Journal for more updates on the Matrimandir Test Lake. I'm Gino for Oroville Media Interface.